It's Feedback Gaming. Welcome back to my historical Japan series. I was going to say China then. I was looking at China. I was thinking, China? No, it's Japan. Big text, Japan. So we tried to make a push to take out this final uh, minor nation of China. Uh, but we failed. We failed. We failed. We failed. We failed. We failed. Tried though. We definitely did try. Okay, so we should think about going into like an... an we, we are mainly industrializing it because we're going for the medium tanks, which is one. The Doctrine, which is good. Yeah, I think we're doing the right thing here. This is, this is right. Yeah, I'm happy with this. We need to get you guys to desperately back out though. Because this pocket is going nowhere. I need to let the AI take it back. This guy is still sick. He will be... Oh, he's wounded actually. Another 10 days. Okay. Supply here is still not that great, but we'll go anyway. Are we on balanced? Yeah, we are. Can they pierce this? No. I guess we could attack downwards here to, to encircle this. That's another option we could do. Oh, we'll do that. Go here, 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 and then here. There we go. Need you guys to be locking them in the pocket. There we go. Done. Good. Get them out of there. Go, 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 go. Alright, oh wow, I've not looked at the focus tree in a very long time. I'm trying to think what I might be missing out on. Uh, there is, there's supremacy of will. We could have gone for that a long time ago, but we just got so focused on like trying to get encirclements. I think it was the right choice at the time. Alright, what do we go for an attack here? I think we are going to do what I thought I was going to do. So we're going to move all the infantry to here. You, on the other hand, are gonna, I've got a, di a different objective for you. All right, we're going to go here, here, and then here. Oh my god, the movement speed is so bad. I'm taking probably some heavy attrition as well, I'm taking a lot of losses. Can we get over the river in time? Can it be done? Uh, did I just cancel? I did. Ugh! Okay, I should. I should before giving a new order. I should make sure he's he's reached his destination before I give another one. All right, you guys gotta go here. Then go here. Then go here. There we go. Done. Let me push into you here. An attacking that's not over a river will do some good damage. Develop China. Adds extra aluminium. Um, Non-aggression pact with the Soviet Union. We'll do the developed resources one first. Here. Here. You go here. You guys go here. Go 
over here, then go here, then go here, go here. Good. And then you guys can launch an attack. Have you got planning bonus? Yeah, they have. Alright, you guys are hanging about at the moment. Let's make a different attack order. Go here. Alright, there we go. Perfect. good okay so secure this area locked it down and regardless of what's going to happen i think we might be just better ignoring the southern warlord and just going for the cities again yeah i think that's what i'm going to do i think i'm just going to make a, a big attack into the center of china now Go for war bonds again. I feel like we should do it while we're at war, you know, because war bonds are just free biz. It's just, it's just free sieve production. Yeah, I think we should do that now. And then also, we should go for the oil bonus as well. How far are we at? We are on oil, anyway, 26. That's not too bad. This is it. This is the final assault. Well, actually, it was the final assault about three episodes back, wasn't it? <laughs> Just keeps going on and on. Oh, wow. Thanks for those divisions that I'm not going to use. reason you you guys aren't moving why is it because you just don't think you can break that mountains it's probably it isn't it they just don't think they can break those mountains ah oh, okay we got the we got the encircle and it was worth it in the end Got him. Can we capture the final city? Looks like we have. There you go. Wow. Okay. That's turned out a bit easier than I thought it was going to be. Okay. So I think the only way you could do a naval invasion in this game uh, in as Japan is if you had a lot of excess divisions you could puncture the front line with. Maybe against a player it would work more effectively. I'm not sure. And there we go. The final cities. Three cities left, and then we're done. One city left. Alright, so that's the medium two. Should we go for the medium three? I think that's pushing it too far. I don't think we need to go for the medium three. I think it's time to work on uh, the navy though. I think we're going to mass light cruisers like we normally do. Oh, 
Oh, it took so long, but we finally did it. <laughs> I'm gonna, I must admit, that turned out to be a lot more hard than I thought it was going to be. And we had an advantage as well, because they attacked us before we could fire the Marco Polo event. So, I don't know what to say, guys. That I, I can only think that would be more difficult. Well, I don't know. There's, there's two things going on. What was more difficult? The Chinese attacking me out of the blue when I wasn't prepared for it? Or was it harder because... We didn't have, well, was it easy because we didn't have the Marco Polo thing to deal with? I don't even know. Oh, wow. So, we have a lot of factories now. We don't need the steel anymore. And we're about to not need any aluminium anymore. No, oh, we do. No, we tell a lie. No, we do. So, non-aggression pact with the Soviet Union is going to be really worthwhile. Warrior Spirit allows cheaper last stands. I don't think I want that. Also, kamikazes. Secure. And then we have the option to bypass the Philippines or secure the Philippines. And then we strike at the southern area, Octopus. This gives an option to boost Singapore Aluminium and Tonkin Aluminium 2. Oh, okay, so it's in Indochina, Indo okay. Alright, we've got war bonds, and we still take advantage of war bonds, which is good. I'm gonna go for these. Gotta get all those civvy factories. Gonna go for repair focus. And we've done it. That took a while, didn't it? Don't need nowhere near as many armies now. I think in... I don't think we even need the cavalries anymore because now we, we have the option to put all our production into our armed forces, so we don't need to. Wow, 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 wow. Imperial Legacy. So is this as if they become China then, is it? Special forces, special forces modifier, low legitimacy, five year plan. I know one of their focuses Anax is Menchuko. That's it. I wonder why. I really want them to go for that because then I, then I get to Anax two for one, you know. All right, we go for the medium tank divisions that we're not going to use. Oil that will. Temporarily import. Um, I think we've gone for that a little bit too early. No, it's okay. We'll it'll pay 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 itself back in the long run. Um, we've got the horses which we can guard here. I think we'll hold on to the horses just for the time being. I don't know where we're going to use them, but we'll just hold on to them just for the time being. And supply problems. No, it doesn't matter. Just go here. There's loads of supply here, right? Surely there should be enough supply, right? Alright, let's shift our production. Because we need to focus now on the Navy. So this is it. So this adds extra production of military factories. And dot yard outputs minus 10%, so that's something we have to work on. Alright, so light cruisers. Go here. Good. And then we can gather up all our fleet again. And we need to produce a lot more CAS. A lot more CAS. So it's really bugging me that these numbers show as reinforcements when we, we have old equipment. I wish it wait I wish it worked the old way. I prefer the old way it used to work. Oh man. Hmm. Yeah, I think I prefer the old system, guys. It 
It shouldn't show needing reinforcements if we're already using other equipment. Why, why do we have to always use our own equipment? I don't understand. Oh my god, look at these guys. They're all so trained. Oh my damn. I don't know, there's something going on that I'm not quite understanding. There's probably mechanics here that I just don't fully understand, maybe. Alright, so we have nine of these, so we'll make another 20... We went 13? 13? 14? 15? So that's going to be our main attack army. And then we can also... Hang on, we've got more than four, haven't we? No, we only had, we only had the four. We'll make another four of these, too. We could probably make more than 24. We can probably make a few armies worth of them. We could probably add on the medium, the medium tank, too. Yeah, we've got enough mediums to do that. A lot of light tanks there, haven't we? So I guess we could convert all of those. How come we don't have the ability to convert? Oh, I guess they're all... So how come we can't convert these Hargos into light artillery? I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. Alright, we've done concentrate again. So now we can add some more refineries on. Yep, another refinery. Here. Here, 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 here. Fix the civvies. Fix the mills. Fix the dockyard. More excavation. Don't need as much as any oil anymore. In fact, we'll get rid of all the oil. Alright, great. So this is the period where we're going to industrialize. Uh, probably for another year. And then we'll start striking the south. Where's the option to take out Indochina China then? There we go. Demand in New China. 75 political power. That's what we're going to do next. Cavalry expert. Oh, man. He's only got one trait and there's so many slots to fill for this guy, too. This guy's pretty good, too. This guy's pretty good, too. <laughs> I don't know what to go for, because we, we, we might change our direction or what troops we tend to go for. I think it's pretty inevitable that we're going to go heavy on the infantry, though. So maybe we should go for the infantry expert. And we do for him. We went for the cavalry guy for that guy, did we? <laughs> okay, maybe a slight regret there. Oh, he's ambusher. Infantry expert. Should have, should have another guy, though, right? Ambusher. Go for this guy. Camouflage expert is really good. Oh my god, another camouflage expert. Oh my god, these guys are like under the radar infantry experts. I love it. That are commanding lots of cavalry. Hmm. We'll just make one more. We'll probably convert these to infantry at some point. Oh, that's the wrong one. Tactical bombers. We say goodbye to them. Oh, he's already dead. I was about to say we've got an ace there. That'd be really cool if we had an ace, but we don't. So we need to improve that cast as well, don't we? Naval bombers, cavalry based bombers, into war fighters. We desperately need fighters. Are we not making any fighters? No, we're not. Oh, no, we are, no, we are. Go 
Good. Alright, okay. Making a lot of refineries here. When these all pump out simultaneously, we'll definitely not need any oil anymore. There we go, don't need the aluminium anymore. Nice. Okay, so where's the aluminium we've just added? We added some to China, didn't we? Where is it? There's some there. Is it here? I think it was here. I don't know where the other one is. So y Yunnan. I don't know where the other one is. Is it one of these southern ones? No. I don't get it. Well, no, Yunnan's added some, but I don't know where the other one's gone. Because it definitely said two locations. Oh, there we go. There. Okay, okay, that's fine. I know where everything is now. <coughs> I would like to maybe phase out a few of these motorized. One, two. Put them here. One, two. And then put the... Mediums there, which is a little bit lower mediums now, which is okay. The hardness now is 32%, but it is not 40% armor though. Or maybe it includes SPGs as armor as well. Maybe, I'm not sure. I wish they stopped giving me divisions. Please stop doing that. Lordship over Indochina. Hey, seriously? Oh my god, is this going to create something really weird? The reason why I'm rushing this is I'm really nervous that China might take Indochina. We've demanded it. What are they going to say? Yay! And it is ours. All right. Okay, so non-aggression part with the Soviet Union, alliance with Siam. We are gonna do that probably. I actually would prefer to declare war on them, to be honest with you. Repair the Suez Canal. Looks like the Suez Canal has been destroyed. I don't know how, because the UK had it. Hmm. Thorough planner. I love thorough planner. Does anyone know what samurai lineage actually does? Lineage. Lineage? Because I have no clue. This guy is pretty sweet. We go combined arms, couldn't we? That's only defense, though, isn't it? Why not? We can pick an extra trait as well. I guess we can go for camouflage expert. Yeah, sure. Don't need as much motorized anymore. Um, Manchuria, build up Manchuria. And also, this doesn't reduce their uh, autonomy, which kind of makes me not really want to do it. Because it's just giving them stuff, and I, I want stuff in return, you know? Alright, let's go for the navy boosts. Alright, can you just stop giving me new divisions? I don't want them anymore. Alright, so what we're behind on? We're behind on motorized by 78 days, that's easy. 245 days for artillery, that's quite long. Medium tanks, 49 days, easy. 
fighters a few days, close air support a few days. The Germanies has declared war on the Soviet Union. It has begun. It has begun, boys. How is this going to pan out? Oh my god, how many divisions? Over a thousand divisions. Oh boy. Republican Spain has joined the common turn. So I tried to make this historical, guys, but it looks like the Civil War was won by the, the communists. I tried. All right. So what I, I was really tempted to do is to... Oh, actually, what we could do... Oh, I never thought of that. We could do the found integration movement. We need, we need, we're going to need a lot more political power than what we've got. And because we're playing on elite difficulty, it's causing a lot of problems. Hmm. I forgot we're playing on elite difficulty as well. United States has joined the Allies. Um... All right, so what resources do we need the most of? Aluminium and oil. So I want to boost that one, boost that one. Probably, oh, we can't make devil dot yards because we've not got space, have we? I guess we could do that. You there, one there. We don't need to repair that. All right. And then we can go for base strike, so we can start working on the base strike doctrine, which we probably should be doing right now, to be honest with you. Let's have a look. So, supremacy will is really epic. Even then, ah, oh, then again, weapon equipment research time and armor research time, minus 5%. That's pretty good, too. Bicycle divisions, armor tech. What I could do is go for medium three and then rush moderns, couldn't I, by doing that one? We're also doing the fight about models too, is going to be worthwhile too. Oh, we've also got torpedo cruisers as well. I've never made any of those as well. Maybe we should make some of those. So this is the non aggression pact. Um, we can't go down this focus tree until we get there, can we? I feel like sometimes on the focus trees, it's just easy to fabricate other than go down the focus tree to declare war. Does that does that make sense? It feels like, what's the point of just having an ability to declare war when we could just do it through through the, the game, game mechanics, you know? Looks like they're making some ground a little bit, maybe? Yeah, they have. They pushed out. I'm guessing that the expert AI mod makes the Soviets make 10 width divisions. Where the Germans go for 40 width, as I think that's what's happening. Oh, we need to do the carrier model too. Oh my god, there's so many things we need to go for. Well, we're doing the industrialization part of this series, aren't we? So, right now, that's when we're prioritizing uh, industrializing the nation. But when these techs all finish, then we'll move on to naval because we need the doctrines. Desperately need the doctrines. Oh my god, we need them so badly. And then we need the better, we need the better bombers as well. The better cast too. So many things that we need. Artillery, right? Yep. And then we do the base strike. Oh, we were going to switch this out as well, weren't we? So prioritize army aircraft construction. Prioritize naval aircraft construction. 20% reduction in cost. That's pretty awesome. There's so many areas to develop too. We need a lot. I can't believe this. There's like so many things we need to do in one go. I never needed to do so many things in one go. It's really cool because I have to make decisions of like what's, what's the biggest priority right now, isn't it? So, do we go for the base strike doctrine? Um, this gives carrier sortie efficiency plus 20%. That's really strong. This gives a fighter model improvements. The zero unlocked. Unlocks the aircraft guy. Removes the duplicate research efforts. 
Oh yeah, that's a bit of a pain too. Oof, that's a few things we need. There's a few things we need. The government of that guy has sent a, f a fiery message noting that number of policy decisions we have made over the last few months which consider to run counter to the national interest of Manchuco. Unless we assign, align our policies more closely with the Manchu government, they will s s take such, me such measures as they seem necessary. Am I going mad? Are they asking to, for us to become their puppet? Is that what they're asking for? I... What? Yeah, they are. They've gone for dominate Japan. <laughs> how is that even... A, how can you even pick that when you're already a puppet of Japan? H how... <laughs> what? Okay, whatever. Guys, if you enjoyed this episode, remember to like and subscribe. Click on the bell icon to be notified of future episodes. And I hope you have an awesome day. See you guys soon. Bye-bye.